breathing harder than usual and I've stopped breathing altogether. Kiss me please as if in answer to my silent question. Anastasia, you shouldn't steer clear of me. I'm not the man for you, he whispers. Hey guys, it's Kina here with What's Up Wake. I'm coming at you with three of my main problems that I'm having with this movie. There's many things, honestly, that I've had problems with with the movie and the book. Granted, I couldn't even read. I only got to half of the first book because I couldn't take it anymore. It was crap. Okay, so let's get started. Book your seatbelts, guys, because it's, it's about to go down. Number one, Anastasia. Because it was a Twilight fan fiction, she is a lot like Bella. And like Bella, I didn't like her either. I don't know if about you guys or if you guys felt this way too, but did it bother anyone else how she's talked the entire movie? I mean, hi, Christian. I'm sorry. I can't talk any louder than this. No, I sound like an idiot and I don't know why. Christian, what? She sounds like a kid. It sounds airy, like she's dumb, which honestly isn't far from the actual character herself, in my opinion. I digress. I kind of have a problem with her from the very beginning. I mean, it's a little bit between the book and the movie I compare it with. But like in the book, there's, she's this girl and she's complaining because her roommate is making her, asked her to do this interview of this millionaire or billionaire guy. One, who complains to interview a CEO of a billion dollar company. I'm just saying, if anything, I'd be more intimidated, not that I would be upset that I had to interview him. Once in a lifetime opportunity here, what? Tip, while she's driving and like in her head, she's like, I don't even know much about this guy. She didn't even tell me much of anything. I'm so upset at her because she didn't inform me enough about this billionaire, millionaire guy that I'm about to meet. It would have made more sense if this was movie was or movie this book was written back in the 90s before you know there was smartphones that are easily computers in your hand. So you're telling me as she stands in the lobby of the gray tower, I mean the building itself, that she couldn't have flipped over in her phone and searched Google and searched this man's name and found out a little bit about him. I mean, for real though. So then she acts brand new. I, I don't know, like, I feel like I'm underdressed. Like, all the women in here are dressed in suits. What did you expect? I mean, really? You didn't have the decency to put on a blazer? I mean, from that instance, she just annoyed me. Who has to tell you to search up someone? Like, she's apparently supposed to be a smart girl. I didn't get that from her. Next one. So, for this movie, like, it's no, or the book itself, it's an, it's an erotic novel and it's an erotic fan fiction. As we all know, it is about, or it has a whole lot of BDSM in it, and it's showing us this world of BDSM. And so for the, for the, I guess, majority of people, when you hear about BDSM, you think of like, these creepy people who are tied up in like whips and it's sadistic and all this stuff. So I feel like the, um, the Fifty Shades of Grey book, did actually, I guess, possibly do it justice. I mean, I feel like I know a little bit more about it and I'm honestly, it doesn't seem as creepy or scary as I guess I thought it was before. Anyway, so I go and watch this movie and like we get to the scenes, like the sex scenes or whatever. And I'm like, really? It's so boring. I mean, I've seen things that are not about erotic BDSM that do do more. You know what I mean? I've seen more sexier things on the CW. Gossip Girl, give Vampire Diaries. I don't know what the big whoop is about this movie. But anyway, on to the third and my final um what is it? critique. So, the ending. Okay. So, throughout this whole movie, you're seeing their relationship progress. And so, okay, there's this girl, she is I guess in I don't know. The guy's more infatuated with her, but I guess she's a little bit infatuated with him. And she wants to be with him. And he's trying to tell her, no, don't be with me. It's not good. And she's like, no, let me in. I want to know. Teach me, Christian. And so as the movie progresses, you actually see that they end up start, you know, forming this relationship and wants to be his submissive. Or she didn't really want to be his submissive, but she's like, she wants to see how it's going to work out. So at the end of the movie, she sees that something's upsetting him, so she goes over to his place. And like, he's upset, and she's like, Christian, what's wrong? And then Christian's all like, oh, it doesn't have anything to concern you. And she starts going up to him, and she's like, you can tell me. And she's like trying to touch him, and she's just like, oh my gosh, chick. Why would you sleep next to me? I just want to be in a normal relationship, blah, 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 blah. 
and he's like, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm not like that. I'm messed up. And he's like pleading with her, right? Like, I'm sorry, but I told you this from the beginning, so this take it or leave it. Why are you trying to change me, Christian? Why don't you just accept me for me? Hold up. I'm all like, weren't you the one who was just telling him that you want him to change? Honestly, and he even said it himself, Anastasia, you're the one who's changing me. She's blatantly not even realizing that he is trying to make an effort to change. I just found it ironic and ridiculous. So anyway, as he wasn't having a good day, she still goes on to push him further. Well, not even push him further, but she's just like, Okay, Christian, show me your worst. Do to me, like, what you want to do. Calm down. Like, are, are you sure? And she's like, Yes, show me. I want to know. And so he's all like, okay so they go into the red room and so like he gets this like whip thing and he like what like she's over bent over the table and he's like okay like i'm gonna hit you with this thing six times and i want you to count you ha like count every time out loud every time i hit you and she's like okay and so he goes and he like wah, <laughs> She's like, one. <laughs> and you're just like, you're torn between feeling bad for her, like, I kind of want to laugh, like, and I'm slightly confused at this whole situation. And it goes again, two. This continues, and like, till six. Then afterwards, she like, gets up, oh, don't touch me, don't come any closer, I'll never let you touch me again, you'll never do, you'll never hurt me. And Christian's just like, wait, hold on a second, like, you told me to do this, what are you, what's your problem, chick? And so she's like, throwing this temper tantrum. For one, who tells someone to show them the worst? Couldn't she have easily have just said, Christian, tell me what you want to do to me. Tell me what the worst would be. And Christian would have said, I want to hit you with this whip. Then she could have easily have said, Ugh. I don't know about that. I'm not about that life. You know what that would have done? It would have, that whole scene of her feeling the pain and discomfort that she didn't like, would have been easily taken away. Second option, when he did take her into the room and she got the first hit, she could have said, Christian, I'm not okay with this. And Christian, like his character in the book's been thus far, all about consent. If she didn't want to do it, he wouldn't have done it to her. You know, this just proves that she's crazy too. Like, she's twisted in her own way. Because I'm like, you could have told him to stop, but you didn't let him stop. So that's saying something about her and also about him. Honestly though, this book is not, or the movie is not about real life. This is, it's not. For one, I feel like a person with Christian's amount of problems wouldn't be as stable and good in the head as he was. And I think that like too, like after the movie came out, I saw a lot of posts on Facebook and they're like, this movie is a bad example of love. Really? Like who looked at Fifty Shades of Grey and said, man, I want love like this. And a lot of the times people who talk about the book or about this movie haven't even read it. Once they read it, they realize that she was enjoying most of it. Yes, Christian, tie my hand. Oh, I like the tie. So don't give me that. So that's it, guys. Um, I hope you liked your Fifty Shades of Grey review. Um, tell me, guys, if you liked it. Tell me if there's things in Fifty Shades of Grey that you absolutely hated or that you actually liked. Um, leave it in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and to like our page on Facebook. Also, lastly, if you guys have any ideas or have any movies or have anything that you would like me to do a review on, feel free to leave comments in the comment box below. We read all of them. So yeah, until then, bye guys.